Hello, witch folk. Welcome to our coven. We are angels on broomsticks. We're a mother-daughter duo. And, and we, we love the makeup. I'm Kristen. And I'm Evangeline. And today we've got a chatty video and we just want to talk about celebrity makeup brands. Very much inspired because um, House Labs by Lady Gaga is going to be at Sephora coming yeah. June 9th, which is very exciting. Yeah, so it's like... She's very excited about that, so we sort of want to talk about that, and then we're like, oh my god, though, there's so many celebrity makeup brands, skincare brands, everything, so why don't we talk about which ones we've tried, which ones we like, which ones we're skeptical of, which ones we're... And does the name, uh, you know, influence us? Yeah. Like, for me, for sure, Lady Gaga, because, I mean, look at this picture of her right now, like, is that not amazing? Yes. And what I love about her <coughs> is her timelessness. Because you don't know if this bitch is 20, 30, 40, 50. Like, how old is she? Can we look she, that up? Though? She's like a freaking vampire. I think like she's, she's 34. Okay, I'm going to look 35. it up. She's born March 28, 1986. 36. 34. Six. <laughs> <laughs> so Lady Gaga's 36. Okay, good guess of mine. Okay, she yeah. Can, yeah, but she's that's a good prime age, I think. Yes. But right. she kind of like has an aura about her where she's neither, you know, like women are always trying to look young. Mm. Like she never tried to look young, you know, yeah. even though she was young. But do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like people who are like that are like like Cher maybe. It's just they are who they are. It doesn't Timeless. matter. Yeah, yes. for sure. And so, yeah, I'm super excited by this because I think believe it'll be a rebranding i do have a little mm -hmm. house lab item i bought when it first launched you'd get it oh. house labs on amazon yeah so, that's kind of interesting if your makeup's on amazon though that's probably like sketch not looking good for your brand and so what is that this is just a little doe footed highlight a highlight stick. Oh, okay. Very pretty. Very I handy. I had a friend who, like, her whole makeup collection was House Labs because she loved Lady Gaga. Like, loved and was obsessed with her. It was like Lady Gaga was her number one idol. Her number one dream is to act in a movie with Lady Gaga. Obsessed. And she wore makeup every day. I worked with her in serving, and oh. she always wore Lady Gaga. Yeah, well, her, her Labs, also House her, Labs. um, her eyeliner is supposed to be very good. Yeah. So... Um, so this is very promising to me. Now it's yeah. not in a dodgy Amazon location. Yeah. And yeah, so I think she probably worked through it. I don't know. Like, I, I trust it. Whatever is going on, even though it's, like, clean, which I don't buy, you know, yeah. I think that's kind of, like, a gimmick. Yeah. Everything's clean. What's dirty? Your dog's butt is actually clean. <laughs> Go no, look at Go show. Go show. Oh, my dog. No, <laughs> they don't even see his booty. He just he's got so groomed. Clean. He's now so he's clean. traumatized from Everything's being clean. Girl. There's no dirt in makeup. <laughs> it's all clean. It's not dirty. I, I, I feel like there's some pretty sketchy stuff on Amazon, though. Well, on Amazon, I agree, because we saw that <laughs> documentary like, on Netflix. The weird... Where you're buying, like, kind of yeah. counterfeit... Natasha Denona yeah, palettes. Yeah, no. And it is made out of dust and... So if your stuff's ending up on Amazon, probably like House Labs, whoever like is the main whatever behind it is like, okay, this is not good. We need to figure our shit out and rebrand because I think I had even heard from other people like House Labs, eh, not great. Amazon. Like, yeah. It's, and it's a cool name as well, House, House. Labs. Yes. They could House. have... Were they even at Ulta? I don't know. No, we're Canadian. I don't, we don't know. know. We don't know. Were they at Ulta? Let us know in yeah. the comments. I think maybe. But we'll see what happens because currently the House Labs website's down. You can't access it, which makes it seem like they're totally yeah, rebranding. It's going to be amazing. For a good reason. And yeah, they're making it clean. So you probably won't end up on Amazon. Yeah. So now we want to go through a couple brands that we have tried, that we love, that we I think are a great, like. the greatest success, I think, yes. has been Rihanna's Fenty. Fenty. I have a Fenty lip on right now. So Anytime they have a new launch, and like I'm on it, I want it. I don't necessarily buy it, but yeah. I'm into it. I love everything she does. Like She's practically only having a baby and then doing Fenty. Yeah. Not so much music anymore. 
But, like, her gloss bombs have become iconic. Some of her, like, contour sticks and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I think you've succeeded as a celebrity makeup brand when people say Fenty and their first thought isn't like, oh, that brand by Rihanna. It's sort of like, oh, Fenty, you know? It's like, I got this new makeup from Fenty. It's not like, oh, is that that stupid thing from blah, blah, blah? Oh, so not using the person's name. Well, yeah, I do yeah. think that's a good move. I do too. Like, another person that has done that is Rare Beauty. Yeah. Selena Gomez. So we can talk uh, about that a bit because... I have several things from Rare Beauty. Do you have anything, though? Yes, Ini. Oh, the lip suitcase. Ini, I'm obsessed with her lipsticks. Yeah, anytime something new comes from Rare Beauty, I'm interested in knowing what it is. I feel like Rare Beauty did what Glossier was trying to do with the sort of, like, packaging and the minimal, minimal vibe a little bit and, like, you know, sort of complexion focus lip focus rather than like heavy heavy glam makeup um i heard glossy is taking quite a downturn actually with their sales or something so i think they're struggling i think they tried to do true? too many weird things is that right <laughs> glossy i hate glossy like i was reading a reddit thread and it said all the things of why i don't like it it's like you are marketing something for people to look like the no makeup makeup perfect pick me girl kind of thing but all your models already look like that it's like let's see it's like your just makeup. put vaseline on your face and you have you know your highlight like yeah it's just hot garbage it was not good i didn't find anything pigmented enough like their lip things were like and then waxy. i found that weird that they had that weird in a tub concealer it was like um, clown makeup you buy at the Value Village on Halloween. It had it was, that funny smell. It's a really weird, greasy, ew. The stretch Who's concealer. This, who are these young people that are so dry that they need oil? Like, when I was We've young... We've determined what it is. Oh, birth control. birth control pills. That was my theory, because I had, yeah. we had this whole video about me coming off the birth control it's pill. It's true. So when you're on birth control pills, your skin gets dry. I think dry. so. And you know, you can have trouble wearing contact lenses, because even your eyes get dry. Mm. But, tangent. Katie Jane Hughes loves that stretch concealer. Well, she's... Market say it. Like, she's... I don't... Does she love it? Does she? Really? She loves to look very I haven't greasy. seen anything about her, like, recently. Yeah... She's kind of fallen mm. off. She has. But yeah, I love Rare Beauty and I'm always excited to see what they come forth with. I think they put out a couple palettes though that were a little lame. I think well, they... Well, yeah, not, the thing is too with Fenty, like my whole palette ob obsession, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure I'll get it from any celebrity brand. Yeah, not from like Fenty. Like I get it from like my favorite people that come out with palettes are makeup artists like Natasha yeah. Denona, or Anastasia, Beverly Hills. I yeah. still like her palettes, and you know, like uh, the indie brands. They don't come. They don't tend to ha have complexion products. I mean, Natasha Denona does, but so then the next one is Rose Ink. Yeah, and she's Huntington Rose, whatever. Rose Huntington is that her name? Yeah. Is there another Sorry, name attached you, to it? She's a so. model. Victoria's Secret? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So I have a few rose ink things. I'm obsessed with their blushes. There's one blush in particular, the shade Dahlia. I would wear that blush every day happily. 100%. It's like I actually have to make myself wear other blushes. You know when you love a product that I much? hate when I do that. When I love <laughs> something and I have to like set it aside... <laughs> It's like your favorite child. Yeah. I'm never going to talk to you again because I have to talk to my crappy child. Yeah. And because then, I got to yeah. give it some work. I know. I'm like, I, I hate that. So I literally like, I can't, I can't wear you again today. Have to give love to the other one. Yeah. I do, I do that. that with the palettes too. It's like, <laughs> it's like, I want to just live and melt, melt and nomad. And yeah. it's like, no dears, like, you've got to sit back today. <laughs> you've got to like. Look at so you. True. Lately for me, the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Like, every day. Especially since I've been going into the office again. Or, again, for the first time. But, like, I'm like, oh, it's just simple, easy. A little bit of shimmer. Perfect shimmer. A little bit of smoke. Done. And I'm like, no, I gotta give someone else some love. But, <laughs> anyway, Rose Inc., I only tried their blushes. But that makes me think I should probably try some other stuff from them. Um, 
Just a beautiful formula. I think their packaging is really similar in that sort of rare beauty lane, minimal, like skin focused. I don't, they don't have palettes or anything like that. They have some skincare. But for the longest time, I thought this was not Rose Huntington. I thought it was this girl on Instagram I follow, Walker Ash, who's a oh, model yeah, yeah. and does makeup and does really, really cool, fun makeup. Oh, yeah, she's really I don't know cool. why I thought it was yeah. her, but for the longest time, I thought this was her makeup brand, which made me, like, like it more. And then I was like, oh, it's the Victoria's no, Secret the model. Thing that was like, uh, that made me like, oh. She's kind of creepy. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I yeah. mean, she, of course everyone loves her because she's a model, but oh, yeah. I like what It's Ashley Walker, I think. Yeah. Her, Better. her hashtag's Walker Ash. Uh -huh. But she has that modely face, so yeah. I don't know why. Whatever. I guess I <laughs> didn't know who Rose Inc. or Rose Huntington, Huntington was. Something yeah. else. She's married to somebody and she took a name. Oh, okay. Oh, well, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> so these are ones we've got experience with. Um, moving on to some things we're maybe interested in, or no, just some things some, we haven't tried. But. I was interested when Gwen Stefani came out with hey. her makeup line. What is it called? <laughs> Give. We're staring at this okay. video right now. Yeah, sorry. It's distracting. But she, like, because she's so into red lipsticks. Yeah. But apparently from what I've heard, she doesn't even wear red, red lipsticks anymore because it reminds her of her old marriage to Gavin. Oh. She wears new... She's a shapeshifter, by the way. So now oh. she's a country girl, and she lives oh, with she? her new husband in the country. <laughs> what? She does. She's and a shapeshifter. She, she doesn't wear red lipstick anymore. No, but oh. she markets it. Yeah. I Something about this brand, I was like, no. Yeah. Not interested. And like, it came up on my makeup feed a little bit. A lot of people using it. This priming oil. Like, a lot of people were saying it's great, like... Right here, it's three, five stars. Although that's her website, so I don't know whether to trust it. But I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I I was interested. Yeah. And then I'm like, eh. the she's got a palette or two, like just a quad. I um, hate quads. I don't know why. Something about the four pan <laughs> disturbs me. I, I hate quads and I hate threes and I. Yeah. I hate a duo. <laughs> a duo is so sad. <laughs> Duo. How sad. sad is opening up a duo? Oh I think God. quads and duos remind <laughs> me of drugstore makeup. Which, yes. Okay, nothing wrong with that, but just remember we're from Canada, and the drugstore pickings are bad. It reminds me of just being a child and picking out a little I Maybelline think, palette. Well, I don't know. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I don't like it either. I, I, I'm sad. It also makes me feel like back in the 80s when you'd go to the, the department store counters. Yeah. Because there was no such thing as Sephora, guys, in the 80s. No yeah. such thing. <laughs> you had to buy, like, Estee Lauder. Yeah. That was the big brand. MAC hadn't come out yet. So it was Estee oh, Lauder, God. Clinique. Can yeah. you imagine? Yeah. <gasps> Lancome was okay. <laughs> but it was all quads. Yeah. Oh, or duos. Shiseido was my brand. I used yeah. to love Shiseido. Yeah. It was all twos and threes. <clears throat> Neutral and quads just don't excite me. No. A nine pan, on the other hand. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect nine pan color style. Yeah, nine pans are the best. <laughs> I agree. So, yeah, I don't know. Has anyone tried any of this? Tried that smoothing prep oil? Is it a holy grail? I don't know. A lot of people are saying it is, but who knows? Maybe it'll be a fad that passes. Um, so we have the Ariana Grande brand, which is like fairly new. Um, Rem Beauty. This one is so weird to me. It looks like like space makeup. Where do you me. buy it though? Well, right it's now we're on our website. I don't know if it's at Sephora. I don't think it's at Sephora. To me, again, these look drugstory. Like, like I am a child and I'm going to buy myself a little thing along with my lip smackers. I'm picking up this, right? Oh, okay, yeah, because it kind of doesn't make sense. There's no! Why was this, was this purple? Why is this purple there and there's a shimmers? I yeah. um, don't like it. I don't like the packaging. It looks like weird. Okay, actually, I remember I watched because I was interested just for a review. That, Robert Welsh. I haven't watched in a while, but... Mm -hmm. He was trying the liquid eyeshadows, and they were building up 
horribly. Like he did one thing and it's like you get a little wash of like the iridescent multi chromy thing, but it's like you need to build up, but then it was like I you could even see like even when he was like far away from the camera like we are now, you could see on his eye it was like oh. layering weird and crinkling and he was like for science I'll keep going. <laughs> and it was just like not a good situation. And I don't know, it is sort of just like why? What what who is this for? Why is it here? The same way when I see things on Treadmood, like a burger palette, like who is that for? All these weird collabs that Captain Crunch or whatever. Like uh, Glam Light loves to do a... Why? It's the weirdest thing. I don't know, thing. it's a shack. To me, this is like, it's like almost like you're trying to target my age group who like was into like Lizzie McGuire and stuff. And it's like such a Lizzie McGuire vibe, but it's like we're older now, so it's like not necessarily nostalgic enough to buy this I don't know because it's like child makeup this know. REM it might have been I, um, I haven't tried it has anyone I, tried it I haven't tried it and I haven't even I don't even know who this person is Ariana Grande I've heard her name I don't know who she is did she date that guy yeah Pete Davidson yeah okay that guy they were all right engaged. now I know who yeah. she is so, we'll give a little shout out to Flower Beauty by Drew Barrymore. I haven't actually tried anything. I have a palette by her. A palette? I think it's okay. I was excited to have my palette, but I never wore it. Do you want me to get it? Okay, go get it. Okay. It's the Jungle Lights. Palette. Jungle Lights. I actually like these tones. It's though. cute. But like. Did you get this in a boxy charm? No, I got it off a website called well.ca. Oh, well. Oh, you know what? I kind of want to borrow this. Okay. <laughs> These are those sort of um, shimmers that are very, like, boily and feel almost wet. Mm-hmm. Is foil the right word? But they feel almost wet. Yeah. They I are. like those kinds. They it's remind a... me of Odin's eye sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's a good palette, but I never wear it. But the package is gross. Yes. It's like that shitty plastic. I don't like the packaging. I'm almost scared I'm going to drop oh. it. Creamy, buildable texture. This seems buildable, unlike those REM things. Curious to try it, just because those are pretty jewel tones, but I don't know. Drew Barrymore, has she been in a movie in a while? No. She has her weird show. Mm. Yeah, no, it was awkward to watch her show. You yeah. know I love her. Yeah. Yeah, nothing really about this brand. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, who else? <laughs> Wait, Ooh, uh, okay, this is interesting, Alicia Keys, because yeah. she's known for her no makeup. Now, what is this going to be? Glossier? <laughs> it's like a color collection. I think she maybe already has a skincare brand or something, but it's like these tint, cheek tints, lip, tinted lip balms. So obviously we're going in the no makeup makeup route, but it is strange considering she kind of like dissed makeup, like yeah. was like adamantly like makeup sucks. So it's such when it, well maybe I'm okay with that I'm okay with her changing her mind yeah that's bitch has a fine. right to change her mind but it's also like can't you just change your mind about something and then not then try and make money off of it it just seems weird like of all yeah, the but people look how like unpeg like it's what she's smoking I still think it's weird honestly like no makeup makeup is almost like worse than makeup makeup it's like if you're because her whole thing was like wasn't it like you know women. No should be able to present their bare faces to the public. Yes, and she did it. And I agree. Like, that totally should be normalized. Like, she's on a television show. She should not have to wear makeup. She should be able to do what the men do. But it's like, no makeup makeup is almost like making yourself yourself, but better. It's like, you know, you're kind of skipping Sneaky. some of that playful aspect of makeup a lot of us like. And, like, you're going right to the make yourself look prettier makeup. Which is exactly the antithesis of what she thought and why she didn't mm. wear makeup. I just she think must be it's struggling weird. with this. She must be sleeping funny. <laughs> She's like, should I have done this? Yeah, she must be saying, what a, what, what? I mean, I love a tinted lip balm, though. I feel like those look really pretty. <laughs> yeah, they look nice. I honestly might even try these. Who knows? Me too. They're really pretty shades. I love cheek tints and lip balms. Yeah. But I just find it weird. It's definitely a cash grab. Oh, you think it's a cash grab? What else is it? It's I'm not a statement. ready to give her my money. I don't mind Alicia Keys getting my money over, say, like, who we're going to talk about next, um, Kylie Jenner. Yeah, Kylie. 
We've never tried any Kylie. So we're calling Kylie a celebrity. Yeah. Because she's not anything but that? Yeah, she's not like a makeup artist who put Now her, Kylie used to be with where ColourPop made their, ColourPop was the lab that made the products. And then she changed over to Cody. Anyway, I saw these at our drugstore. So you say we have a crappy drugstore. Yeah. But we don't. Okay, but like drugstore brand. Brand. You can't count well, don't the you find luxury makeup like Urban Decay that's in a certain section of the drugstore. Because we store. do have luxury makeup in our drugstore in our shop, Shopper's Drug Mart. Kylie came out. Yeah. And if I was like desperate, like in some weird jonesing mood, like at 11 o'clock at night and I needed a palette, <laughs> I'd be so freaking happy to find a Kylie palette and I'd buy it. Yeah. You but never know what I would buy. When would you in ever be drug at 11 p.m. jonesing for a palette at a drug bar? You don't know what 2022 is going to bring. I'm going to be, I live right now on the strip of all patio, drinking, fun. I might stumble in a shopper's drug mart and say, I need a palette. Maybe. But it doesn't count as drugs or makeup. Though, so, just saying. No, it doesn't. But that's, but don't forget in the States, every time you always hear, you know, influencers, uh, you know, they say, oh, my favorite drugstore makeup. Yeah. Don't they always include ColourPop? ColourPop, yeah. And that's not in your drugstore either. We know yeah. that. Yeah. Just because it's at Ulta. It's at whatever. Ulta. We don't have an Ulta yet. I'm going to complain every time we film. Ulta needs to come to Canada. Yeah. We were going to get it, but then the pandemic hit. Anything Kardashian, you know, I don't like. I heard this thing about how there's these people who love to hate them, and I guess I'm one of those. But I don't care enough to, like, exhaust energy on hating them. I just really question their morality. And their I don't hate them. I, on the ex- other hand, Is this the girl of- who's a billionaire? Like, anyone who's a billionaire, I don't need to give them money. No, you don't. I'm don't saying. give her money. I'm not. I didn't <laughs> say. I was just saying. I have to admit, I went on the Skim site. I might... What's that? Skims. Oh, Kim Kardashian? Yeah, her skims. Her underwear. Oh, right. It looks good. Yeah. Right, right. But I did watch a video of somebody, apparently customer service is terrible. So I will say that. Mm-hmm. Um, we wanted to maybe briefly bring up KVD as a celebrity brand gone wrong. So this was Kat Von D, but <clears throat> they had to rebrand as KVD after like, she well, we, she got bought out. Yeah. We Googled a couple things, though. We thought it was just the anti-vax and pre-COVID anti-vax. This was the not... The kids' vax. Not yeah, the, it was like measles the polio, and shit. Me, measles, mumps, rubella, polio. And she ended up changing her mind about that. I know that because I listened to a podcast. Yeah. But then there, we think there was maybe other stuff. I don't yeah, know. But I don't know. We don't know It's for interesting, sure. just like how... You can lose your whole brand from a tweet. Yeah, so if something. your name is too attached to it. Yeah. Or, you know, you're behind it. Yeah. We, we didn't touch upon also designer makeup, like, you know, Dior or Tom Ford. But, like, these these are, they have true. their names attached. That's so true. And that could go wrong. Very true. Which is why, I like, Fenty, rare. Like, if something ever happened, you could take the brand away from the name. Mm-hmm. And I mean, in a way, they kind of kept the KVD thing, but yeah, they totally took away what KVD But I think made. it did well, because the Good Apple Foundation is like a lot of people's favorite. I have that. I love it. Yeah. Only in certain temperatures, but I don't, oh. I don't remember what shit is. If it's warm or cold, Yeah, I can't remember if I like it in the warm or the cold. We'll see. We're getting hot here in yeah. Toronto. Oh my God, it's so hot today. But I don't know. That's interesting. We have some skincare brands like JLo Beauty, that new one coming from Scarlett Johansson. We talked about her before in a new. I think that's a cash grab. Not Scar. interested. Same with JLo. So I wish ScarJo would just go make a decent movie instead of like yeah. being some weird. What is Black she? Black Widow? I don't know. Like, I don't yeah. watch that kind of thing. I liked her way back in the day. Well, she was of, like, a simple person. Lost in Translation, yes. Ghost World. Stop trying to make all the money. What was that other good one? Ghost World was in so the, good. Yeah, the British one. Where she Match was. Point. Match but that's Point. that's problematic because that it was good. Woody Allen. Oh, that was Woody Allen. Yeah, that was such oh, a good movie. Sorry. Shit. 
<gasps> oh, I didn't love know that, that was movie. Woody Allen. Love, love, love that movie. Oh, no, you can't Damn. see that. Okay. You can't watch it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, you can't find it. Oh. Woody Allen's canceled, man. Yeah. We can um, do a shout out to Goop. We're going to shout out Goop. I, but first, I'm going to preface this. Only celebrities like Gwyneth Paltrow. Normal people see through her. Yeah. We all hate her. But you, every time, like, I love certain podcasters, and they're like, oh, Gwyneth. It's like, why are you fawning over this oh. bitch? There's nothing, she's not funny, she's not interesting, yeah. there's nothing smart about her, she's crazy, but you can tell what she did, mm. and I think this is cute. So, I actually saw on my Instagram feed this thing about, uh... Like, it was, like, a pack of 12 diapers were $120, and the whole thing was that they were lined with virgin alpaca wool and fastened with amber gemstones, known for their ancient emotional cleansing properties. And I was looking at that. I was like, what the fuck? It's so on brand with her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're not even batting an eyelash. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, it's goop. Okay, I guess, of course, it's goop. But then, turned out, this was, like, a media stunt to draw attention to... So she says... If treating diapers like a luxury makes you mad, so should taxing them like a luxury. So drawing attention to the taxing of certain, like, you know, items that are ne necessary. I'm assuming that's also under the brand of tampons, pads, and all that. Like, mm -hmm. taxing items like that. So, interesting, cool thing to do. It seems like she knows her brand and she's self-aware of some of its, like, woo hippie dippiness mm. And look, I got my own hippie dippiness up in here, too. So... I'm not totally, like, anti some of it, but she's aware of her brand and aware of the way people perceive it to the point that she can pull off a stunt like that. People believe it, and then people talk about it. So that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Except thing. I didn't hear about it, which huh. I don't understand. I heard about why. it, and my friend heard about it. Okay, and okay. And they're friends, okay. Yeah. As long as someone heard about it. There's this... Uh, Instagram account. Now I'm forgetting the name, but it's like it's all about like the behind the scenes, the makeup industry, and all their mm. dirty secrets well, and like CEOs. SD Laundry. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty interesting. SD Landry. So and here was oh, the Amy, it's a stay laundry, not SD Laundry, <laughs> like a stay lauder, but a stay laundry. Oh. You're so cute. <laughs> I was thinking of the Heim girl, Esty. No, it's a stay. Good it's making fun of a stay water. La water. I thought it seemed weirdly familiar, but this no. was the diaper that was, that was advertised. <laughs> but they like talk about a lot of like sneaky stuff oh, that and like, like CEO. I, I gotta, why didn't you tell staff. me about this? Well, I just found out about it. And yeah, that's our chats yes. about the celebrity makeup. Celebrities. Room. Who have you tried? Whose brands have you tried? Is there one we missed? I'm sure there are. I feel like there's just so many. There was even Flower Beauty, or not Flower, Honest Beauty. I didn't know that was Jessica Alba. I have a lip that's balm. Not, that's just it's okay. Uh, it's still yeah. a brand. Oh, okay, but it's not on, like, there's so yeah. many brands. There's a lot. Maybe there's a big one we're forgetting about. I'm sure. We're going to be like, oh, shit. Meryl Streep, what do you have going on? <laughs> that could be something, like marketing for, like, Older women and getting them into makeup. I don't know. No, I don't see her doing it. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Stay witchy, stay bitchy. Have a good week. Bye, Bye witches. witches.